uh, welcome viewers and students. In this session, I have to discuss about engineering graphics and drafting. First, I introduce myself. I am Dr. P. Ramesh, Associate Professor in Mechanical Engineering, Faculty of Engineering Technology, Anamal University. In engineering graphics and drafting, in uh, previous, uh, we are uh, named this uh, subject as engineering drawing and graphics. So, in this, uh, a lot of contents are there. So, introduction, drafting tools, graphic principles, geometrical construction, scales, curves, projections, projection of points, straight lines, planes, solids, axillary projection, section of solids, intersection of surfaces, development of solid surfaces, isometric projection, perspective projection and nomography. So here, we are looking about introduction. So, in this introduction, we are uh, learn why this engineering graphics is useful for engineers because we are communicate our ideas and thoughts and designs to others. So, also we are spreading the communication through the graphical language. It is the oldest form of communication among the humans. So, we are using some equipments so, so that engineering graphics is a study that to form an image using tools of an equipment whether tools may be a computer drafting, paper and pencil and sheet, so paint and brush, etc. Uh, in this language, uh, there is drawing as named as a language. Why? Because engineering drawing is the language of engineers and technical persons. So, this technical drawing is a precise international language for communications. So, now this language has been standardized universally by ISO. It ensures efficient communication in all aspects of engineering. It is a universal graphical language of engineers. It is similar to how we are learned the language in other. That is, uh, we are spoken, read and written in it our own way. So, every language has its own rules of grammar. In similar, in engineering graphics also, that is, engineering drawing also has its grammar as in the theory of projection. It is idioms in conventional practice. It is in punctuation in the types of lines, its abbreviations in the symbol and its description in the construction. It is also named as drawing. Why? Because it is a graphical representation of physical objects and their relationships over the sheets. A drawing drawn by an engineer having engineering knowledge for engineering purpose is an engineering drawing. So, this drawing is starting point of all engineers. So, who, who are all joined as here? Engineering. So, like a branches of mechanical production, manufacturing, civil, electrical, electronics, communications, computer science, chemical, textiles. So, who are all as it joined here? here? Technical or engineer. So, they must learn these subjects. Next, we are uh, going to see drafting tools. It is uh, very important. Why it to be important? Because uh, without tools, we cannot uh, produce any drawing. So, we are uh, need such uh, tools to produce a legible and uh, good practice of drawings. So, that is, uh, we are required drafting tools. Yeah, in this uh, uh, screens, we are looking about what do you mean by the drafting tools. The drawing instruments or drafting tools are used to produce here drawings quickly and more accurately. So, it is to satisfactory results in the form of accurate drawings. The drafting tools used must high quality. So, there are uh, various uh, drafting tools are there. So, just I named it here drawing board, drawing sheet, mini drafter, instrument box, set square, T square, protractor, scales pro circle, French curves, flexible curves and etc. and so on. So, we uh, let us be uh, see one by one. First uh, drawing boards. Yeah, it is a um, main thing. Uh, uh, while you practicing any drawing, we must need some board. So, what about the standard size? So, drawing board is made up of well seasoned soft wood about uh, 25 mm thick. So, it is uh, created at the back by two battens to prevent warping. For an engineering practice, the standard size of bow is normally we are using 500 mm by 650 mm. So, yeah, this is the picture we are uh, showing here, is it? 
as a drawing board back side. So, there is a bottom end. So, in that bottom only we are uh, having some arrangements that is strip like arrangements. So, it is very very important because it is a soft wood. In that uh, board only we are placing our drawing sheet because it to be very smooth surface to produce our drawing in legible. So, the various sizes. So, normally we are having lot of sizes according to the BIS that is ISO. So, Indian standard of uh, brew, we are recommended lot of size. So, first size uh, B0. So, B0 normally is the final one, but uh, it is having the board size 1250 mm by 900 mm. Then we are uh, bring it in uh, B1, B2 and B3. So, normally we are using in our uh, laboratory classes. So, B2 sizes 650 mm by 500 mm. Yeah, next we are uh, going to see drawing sheet. So, it is also important uh, things because whatever the object we have to represent on a paper that is drawing sheet. So, it is also important is it that is why we are select proper drawing sheet and sizes. Yeah, Let us we see what it is. Yeah, drawing paper or sheet. Uh, it is available in white, buff and green, but it normally it is not like a green. It is a uh, buff and green. The drawing sheet should be tough and strong. When eraser is used on it, it fibers should not disintegrate because while you are making eraser, uh, whenever we did some uh, wrong things, then we are uh, used some part of erase. Then the fiber of white paper, it not disintegrate. That is the reasons. Yeah, various sizes we are following. So, similar to drawing board because the drawing board and drawing sheet have the relationships. If you are chosen uh, drawing board B naught, you must chosen the drawing sheet as A naught. So, otherwise it is a mismatching. So, here also we are having lot of sizes. So, A naught that is A 0, A 1, A 2, A 3, A 4, A 5. Yeah, normally, we are knowing about the paper size A 4. So, the A 4 size if you are coupled together both A 4 size, it make it as A, A 2. Then, Two A2 sheets bring it A1. The two A1 sheets bring it A0. So that is the similar. Yeah, here trimmed and untrimmed. There are two format we are following here. Trimmed and trimmed. So what do you mean by trimmed? That is the proper size. The edges are properly trimmed and named some defined or definite size. So that is uh, shown here. So A0 that is S0. That is uh, trimmed size is 841 mm by 1189 mm. So, that is the biggest size, but normally in our practical sessions we are using A2 or A3 sheets because uh, the drawing board probably we are using only A2 sheets. Uh, that is uh, uh, B2, that is why we have to select A2. Uh, due to the proper uh, practicing of drawing sheet, we are uh, making this size. So, otherwise normally we are following A3. We try to see here. Yeah, if this picture shows how the various paper size brings into other sizes. So, the, the first size is A0. So, after that you have to bring A1, then A2, then A3, then A4 because half half. So, every papers you have to put it in half, then it brings in other size. So, that is the uh, bro, the Indian standard brew of sizes. Yeah, here there are a lot of instruments we are uh, used to produce drawing, but all club together in single form that is uh, mini drafter. Mini drafter, uh, you know what about drafting? Drafting is laying of drawing on a paper with the help of tools. So, those tools are coupled together and form as a single instrument that is called mini drafter. Yeah, let me see what it is. So, it is a device with uh, two scales set at right angles to each other. You yeah, try to look at the scales. The scales is not in single, it is a uh, two scales. One scale is perpendicular to another. So, that is mutually perpendicular. So, what about its function? Its function is it is act as a T square, set square, also used as a scales. 
but it make it as a clinograph and used as a protractor. So this is like a combination. You have to combine a lot of instruments like T squares, Z squares, scales, clinographs, and protractor. Yeah, it can be moved easily and quickly to any locations. But uh, here, yeah, I tell about in animations uh, how it works. But uh, if you look at this uh, uh, picture uh, in the right sides, uh, the mini drafter having a lot of components. Yeah, one end is fixed end that is fixed on the drawing boards. Other end is scale end. The scale end is you have to fix the scales. So what we have, and uh, in between there are four arms. These arms are free to move, but uh, you have to fix the, this mini drafter on the drawing board from left to right in the top. But those who are right hand practice, those who are right hand practice, they must fix the mini drafter from left to right in top, top of the drawing boards because uh, in right side only we are following the drafting by use of lot of tools that is to handle. So, such a way you have to fix this mini drafter. Suppose you have to question me, sir, for left hander practice, how to fix this mini drafter? Yeah, sure. For left hand practice, you must follow the fixing of uh, that end, fixed end of mini drafter on right side to left. From right to left only you have to fix for left hand practice because the left hand practice, they are practicing the drafting in left side. So, in the left side, you are not having any disturbance to create uh, any objects or any drafting. So that is why you have to follow this fixing of a mini drafter properly. So also you have to fix the drawing sheet in uh, right sides. There is some nomenclature is it in drawing you have to follow. So that is why yeah, I have to uh, give explanation in the way of animations. So the edges of scales are used to measuring as well as drawing. So here we are using this. The mini drafter used for different drafting operation, namely to draw vertical lines, horizontal lines, inclined lines, parallel, and perpendicular lines. So and also used for measurings. Yeah, let's see the animations. Yeah, in these animations, try to see how the mini drafter works. Yeah, now we are uh, freely rotates the mini drafter. Yeah, here. We are showing the lot of tools like T squares, scales, set squares, protractors are combined together and formed as a mini drafter. Here, mini drafter one end is fixed at a top end that is for right hand practice. For left hand practice, you must fix that uh, that end on right side to left and check. Here, for drawing of vertical lines, horizontal lines, yeah, you have to follow this. Yeah, before following to draw anything, you have to set the mini drafter scales parallel to the edges of drawing sheets. So after that you have to remove the clips and draw the border lines. Yeah, you have to draw the border lines by keeping left uh, margin as 20 mm, the remaining margin as 10 mm. So after that you have to set one of the scale parallel to any one of the border lines. Then you have to draw a lines. Yeah, now we have to draw a horizontal line by keeping starting point of horizontal lines. Then you have to draw a horizontal line. Yeah, similarly for vertical lines, you have to give you a vertical line starting point. Then by using vertical scale of mini drafter, we draw vertical line. Here try to see this. And also inclined line, you have to rotate this mini drafter scales at particular angle and draw. You know, yeah, here you have to look, there is some angular division is there. So by knowing the divisions and set as a particular angle, then draw an angled or inclined line. Now, suppose if you want to draw any perpendicular or parallel line, yeah, you have to set that scale parallel to, yeah, you have to set the scale parallel to vertical line and draw a parallel vertical line to that vertical line, yeah, from this. This is the concept of parallel. Yeah, you have to draw a perpendicular line. Yeah, already we have horizontal line. From that horizontal line, we have to draw a vertical. That is the use of mini drafter. By using the mini drafter scales, we have to set parallel to any one of the border line and draw the parallel lines or perpendicular line to any one of. So this is the concept of mini drafter animations. Now then we have to look. So instrument box, 
Uh, this instrument box normally used in previous, but it contains a lot of uh, uh, instrument uh, doing for part of circles or circles. Uh, here also I am having the animations. Uh, look at this animation how we are generate uh, circles and part of circles by using uh, different uh, uh, components that is uh, divider and compass. Uh, normally we are called this is as engineering compass, this is compass. So divider, this is also divider, here yeah, lengthen bar, pencil tips, pencil tip box. So how to it generates, yeah, from this we have to draw a circle or part of circle. So this is the engineering compass, okay, by engineering compass you have to placing on center point, draw the circles. Uh, let me see how to, here yeah, now measure the radius, measure radius, yeah, say 4 centimeter that is 40 mm and placing on to the center point. So after placing how to generate or produce circles, yeah this is the way yeah, because uh, normally you have compass that is in geometry box but here it is engineering compass. Suppose if you want to draw a very big curve or circles, so you have to use lengthen. So you have to replace the shortened bar and placing of lengthen bar and placing the lead tip. So then you have to measure a big size of radius and generate a big circles or part of circles. That is the use of this compass. So that is normally we are going for engineering or uh, drafting compass. Now this is the way we have to generate circle on the drawing sheets. In similar fashions, we have to do it dividers. Uh, let me see. So, what about this uh, instrument box contains your yeah, compass? So, the compass is an instrument used for drawing circles and arts. In any instrument box, there will be a two compass one is big, another one bow compass. So, similarly, divider, divider also normally engineering divider and bow divider. So we know what about the compass, compass is used to draw but divider used to measure. The next uh, set squares, but in uh, previous we are using this type of instruments but now we are not following this because we are had it a single machine instrument as a mini drafter. So that is why we are not using but even though you have to learn, so you have to understand what it is, so what purpose we are using. So suppose if you want to produce any particular angle that is 45 degree or 60 degree or 30 degree, so we have to use at that time this particular set squares. Then T squares, it is a olden types of uh, instruments but normally we are not following now. So already I said a mini trafter, so why this type of T squares we are using? It is used to draw a horizontal line. So normally the left side uh, T square uh, wood is using to move on the drawing board. So without changing the position to draw the horizontal line, that is that's the purpose of T squares. By use of T squares and set squares, we have to generate lot of lines that is shown in the right side pictures. Protractor, but actually everyone knows this, uh, what do you mean by protractor, okay, semicircular protractor. So it is having from 0 to 180 degree. So both sides, the left side from start from 0 to right side 180 or right side 0 to left side 180 degree. But uh, while you coming into the engineering, then you have to uh, use pro circle instead of uh, semicircular protractor because there are a lot of uh, users. Uh, let me see that. What about uh, pro circle? Try to look at this pro circle because. Uh, we are having lot of poles, so this is not only having the division of angles, so it start from 0 angles to 360 degree, that is again it comes in 0 degree, that is 360 degree, so that is called pro circle, but in this pro circle we are having lot of poles, try to look at inside, there are different holes are there numbered, so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12.5, 15 and small holes also there. So like uh, 3, 3.5, 3, 2.5, so like this. So why we are uh, having this? 
suppose we are not generate, we are not able to uh, do it a small circle by use of compass. So at that time, the standard size, what it here provided as a whole, using this we have to generate a circle. That is the use of pro circle. That is engineering uh, protractor. Actually, we named as engineering protractor. That is pro circle. Then, uh, yeah, everybody knows what what is the meaning of scales. Why we are using the scales? Okay, there are a lot of things, and also there is the ratios. So one is to one, or one is to two, one is to five. Different scales are using in engineering, because uh, normally uh, actual drawing is not adaptable in the drawing sheet. So that moment we have to reduce the drawing size and uh, do it as a drafting. Yeah, French cows. Yeah, different cows we have to represent some object shapes. For such case, we are using this French cows. Then flexible cows also. But normally, I am not uh, allow the students to use templates because you have to practice. You have to practice the uh, normal tools. So if you directly applying any templates, you are not able to understand use of the number of geometrical constructions. So by that, you have to uh, forget, forget the concept, forget the basics. So that's why I am not uh, appreciate to use templates. Yeah, this is a must learn. That is important because paper fasteners. Yeah, everyone knows drawing board. Drawing board on that only we are placing the drawing sheet. So how we have to pick the drawing sheet? Yeah, there are four edges, but the, the, those four edges are not comes in. The drawing sheet and drawing board not similar, but drawing board you have to use bigger than drawing paper. So I showed already in mini drafter animations. So yeah, again I go back and showing. Okay. The yeah, this try to look. So the various fasteners are there. So to fix in the drawing sheet and uh, drawing board, because while you produce any drafting, the drawing sheet never change your position. It not tilt. It not shake, it not move. So for that purpose, we are using fastener. So fastener may be a three types. So here we are applying. There is a pin type, clip, and tape. Normally we are using clips. So the clip should be used to fasten the paper as well as board. Here, in this picture, you have to be able to see the projections. While you are looking at the top, the clip is looking like here the curvature as well as uh, rectangles shapes, but in uh, end elevations, that is in size. So the, there is here some shapes. So in bottom of that end of clips, uh, you have to look some spring type curvature. So that will make fasten, that is tightening the paper and drawing board as in tight. So that is the purpose of these uh, clips. Tape, because uh, suppose one end is not uh, adaptable to placing of clips it not uh, uh, help it not that is uh, it not possible because the paper is uh, not in the edge of the drawing board so at the time we are using this tape but there is a drawback so what about the demerits because while you placing this tape okay by doing of practice it's okay but when you finished then if you remove so what happens? It damages that paper. That is the part, that is the reason we are not encouraging to use this tape. But normally this paint is applicable. Yeah, we have to encourage because we need some uh, stickness. So that is the reason we are using this paint. But this paint only used at one end. So where the clip is not possible to fasten. Yeah, pencil. It is also important. Yeah, while you practice engineering graphics and drafting, this is must. But today, many people, that is students, are straight away go for using of uh, mechanical type micro tip pencils, high grades. Because why I am not uh, suggested this for mechanical pencil? Yeah, it's okay. But while you having good knowledge, good practice, 
then you have to follow mechanical type of pencils but if you are beginners you are a young or bud engineers you must follow pencil then only you have to understand how to use what at what time you have to use this tip so that is the essential but uh, the grade you yeah, are try to look at this uh, picture so the pencils are placed in different grades uh, left hand side uh, showing as the hardest uh, uh, pencil right hand side soft softest pencil so what is the meaning of hardest and softest yeah everybody knows the pencil contains carbon content of lead that is tip so the tip contains uh, carbon contents so the transfer of carbon content on to the paper that is communications so while you draw or scratching or if you doing anything on the paper by use of pencil lead that pencil lead carbon particle transfer on to the paper yeah if you take hardest pencil say for example 9h that is a left hand side 9h very hard yeah by impress by impress or by highly st stressing by placing a pencil and stress and draw any line but if you looking that line thickness and also brightness is very very lighter so why the carbon content transfer onto the paper is very less that is hard hard means the carbon content not transfer easily but while you take right hand side soft first what is that 7b so 7b means it's very very easily transfer because the carbon particle is a black color so if you touch and slightly if you draw a line the carbon content easily transfer on to the paper but if you using highly softest pencil but it take some care so otherwise after few seconds or few minutes if you placing your hands or any other instruments that will create or make some black shades that black shades damage or spoil your entire drawings that's why in our practice we are suggested use of pencil as three variety so one is hardest as two edge pencil while you practice of any things that is beginning construction lines imaginary lines or you are, you are not knowing anything okay that is construction lines or imaginary or any unwanted line you want to generate by use of two edge pencil only you have to start very lighter without impress then hatch pencil tracing so after confirm yeah this is the picture this is the drawing after confirm then you have to trace so which are the edges are thick those edges only have to trace by hatch pencil so one more pencil suggested to the students as hatch b only for lettering lettering is just to give you the notion symbols and some writing practice so for those practice only we are suggested hatch b pencils so these different grades are there but in our practice we are following only three grades so 2h h and hatch b so by use of this three variety you are able to understand how to generate how to give you a good picture that is good drafting good drawing so that is the use of this pencils yeah everyone knows why we are using erasers because erasers helps us to eliminate or uh, modify so whenever we did some wrong things or suppose you have to modify some portions for that only we are using erasers there are uh, many number of drafting tools are there so in this uh, sessions up to this only we are need to cover but uh, in next sessions we are uh, learn about graphic principles uh, in next sections uh, we have to learn about graphic principles and geometrical construction and so on so with this uh, i conclude this session thank you